Hello there, I'm Buck with Sawdust Solutions. Today I'm looking at doing a yo-yo. Uh, I hadn't fooled a yo-yo in a long time, so I thought, I got this colored uh, plywood. Uh, I glued some together, and I'm gonna try to make the yo-yo. I got one size. I'm gonna try to make the yo-yo I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I, sometimes you can get some pretty neat stuff with uh, this plywood like it. I had some left over from a project, so I thought I'd stick with me and we'll, we'll see if we can't get this yo-yo done. Okay, in making this yo-yo, I've, I've talked about doing this uh, plywood of different colors, and it ought to result in a pretty decent looking yo-yo. But this is actually both sides. It's five and a half foot long, two and a half inches wide. And as the thing shows two and a half inches, which split this in two, this is your two sides. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go and uh, split this in half. I've marked uh, the center right here and I'm gonna put right in the center right there and I'm gonna have me uh, each half of the yo-yo. <laughs> This is what I use to mark the center. I gotta get the center marked so I can drill my 10 millimeter hole in it to incorporate the uh, the brass that goes in there. You go all the way around and it leaves you, you do, there's your center. Mark the center right there. That's where I'm going to drill my hole. Okay. Looks like a pretty good hole. So what I want to do here is mark this off to where I can go out to the bandsaw and that way it ain't, it's much easier to cut. So I mark Again, I don't know how this plywood's going to react. I'm going to give it every advantage I can possibly give it. Let's see. The bristles of the brass that goes with that kit. And what I like to do, I'll take some 80 grit sandpaper. I just scuff that dude up there a little bit. Makes that uh, glue or epoxy, whatever you're using, bite a little bit better. Okay, now we're gonna actually glue the, uh, the brass in. I, I used a thick. Uh, I have the deactivator, I mean activator, to, uh, but most of the times, every once in a while you get a hold of one that wants to, for whatever reason, it wants to, uh, I don't know, it's like it caught air and it's pushing itself out. You'll have to kick, uh, like this one right here, I don't think it's going to have no problem. I can't get it out. I always like to check it to see if it's going to fit because one time, like that in there, just barely will fit. One time I 
got it in there and it wouldn't well, go and I got glue all over it. Okay, the way I've got this thing figured, the inside, this is the inside, these will be the outside. So I want, I, I'm, ideally is to get these brass pushed in there middle ways is what you're shooting for. So, and when you go in there, you want to twist around there and make sure everything is, I kind of greased it up where it went right on in. All right, let's see if this one, this one's a little tight there a minute ago. <clears throat> let's see if it, uh, Ideally, is to get it all the way through. Yeah, look like that's gonna be all right. All right, so that, that worked beautiful. yo-yo for Penn State. It comes with two outer bushings or hubs, inner hubs, what we just turned, an axle and a bearing. You take the outside, we'll press that in. Okay, we'll do both of them. Okay. All right, the inside gets one. Both, both of them get one on the inside. And inside right here. Okay. Now, it's pretty simple. You just thread that in right there. Put the bearing on it. And thread this in. 
Well, that ain't going to grab, is it? There it went. Okay. Now put the spring, uh, string, this is the way I do it. Come to find out there's a bunch of ways of doing it. That right there. Get her tightened in there. Good. All right. Oop, come back here. All right. And this is the way I do it around my finger. Tie a knot. And then pull it through and put it on your finger. And we'll... Let's give her a try here. Yeah, oh yeah. Feels good, balance pretty good. I ain't, uh, that's about all I can do to one. Anyway, I think the grandkids would get a kick out of that. You don't see yo-yos much anymore, do you? Don't see yo-yos much anymore. Yeah, here's the yo-yo. I get turned up pretty good. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if uh, I hope this makes you want to go and uh, make a yo-yo. There you go. <laughs> See you next time. Y'all be safe.